So here's me fresh out of the shower. I'm applying my new favorite leave-in conditioner to the ends of my hair because it makes the hair super soft and shiny. Next up, moisturize the skin. This will give your foundation something to hold on to. As always, I'm using L'Oreal True Match Foundation. It gives medium coverage without looking like a mask or feeling like a mask. For a natural blush cheek look, I'm using this cheek stain. This is my favorite one because it blends like a cream, but it works like a stain. Some of you might know that I have a new obsession with this powder. It reduces the look of pores and shine all day long. I'm keeping the brows quite natural with just a tinted brow gel instead of using a powder or a shadow this time. And with the other side, I'm going to highlight my brows and my upper cheekbone. Moving on to the eyes. This Rimmel primer has a brightening effect to the lids, which is perfect for this look. I really want the eyes to pop, so I'm using the Shimmering Eyeshadow Trio. Start off with a skin toned base and wash this all over the eyelid. Use a touch of pink on that inner corner just to brighten up the eyes. We need a little definition to bring this look together, so I'm using a brown pencil on the upper and lower lash line. Blend this out with a brown eyeshadow. I'm using a flat brush for this, but you can use a pencil as well. Curl your eyelashes and apply mascara. Finish with a Kiss Proof Natural Toned Lip Gloss. And you're done. Wait, no, we have to do the hair. My hair is still kind of damp, so I'm going to start off by spraying with heat defense. Then grabbing my round brush and my hair dryer, I'm going to start with the front section. I have a natural cowlick that I have to deal with. Once that's done, I roughly dry the rest of my hair. As some of you might know, I love hot rollers. They're the only thing that works for me. I take medium sections, wrap it around the curler, and then pin it into place. Give it a few minutes to cool and they're ready to take out. I took mine out quite quickly so I wanted a relaxed, flirty wave. I always apply perfume across my neck and shoulder so when someone hugs you, they get the scent of your perfume. On my nails, I kept it quite nude and neutral. Now for my outfit, it's really casual and cute for a first date. I'm wearing this brown blazer with a white lace detail top inside. And black skinny jeans for comfort and white court shoes. Thank you so much for watching and if you're going on a first date, good luck and be yourself.